Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Jew from Happiness and Crafting. Um, so in our last video, I made these little clusters, the little scrap clusters. So today I thought I'd show you a couple of things that I've made with them, or and that we are going to make. Okay, so to start with, I've made these little, um, well, they can be toppers, they can be journaling cards, they can be tags, they can be little tuck spots. Um, and I think they're really really pretty and they're just made with the with the little um, clusters so this one I've just what I've done for the backing are here let me just show you these are just packaging so this is um, just some fruit tea um, that we that I drink um, and they make brilliant little because they come in little fours they come in tiny little packets like that they make perfect little tags and also I've got cereal box as well there so just recycle some of your old cardboard from your packaging and what I've done here look I'll show you these I have just gessoed over the top um, just a couple of times a couple of layers of gesso um, but if you haven't got any gesso you can use white paint you can stick a piece of paper over the top and I've left it I've covered over the, the front of it so that the back you can just write on so you don't have to cover that up um, and I quite like that you can actually sort of like almost see through it as well a little bit of colour a little bit of texture coming through and on this one I've stamped on the back um, just to give it a little bit of interest and then just stuck that one straight in the middle so I think they look really nice this one here um, I stamped again on the back we've got one of the little toppers on there and then another one on the top um, so I think they look really cute and I've just got a bit of little fab bit of fabric in between and this is from the um, one of my the magic of music digital kits I've just put that on there because it says melody on there so I thought that looked quite nice so they're really easy peasy to do once you've made the little toppers um, they're quite easy and then I've made just a tiny little journal as well so it's just a little well it's a little more of a little notebook and I've just made that out of an index card, um, one sheet of tea stain paper, coffee or tea stain paper, and then one of the little toppers here, the little clusters, and I've just stuck some fabric on the back. And I thought that was a really nice little addition to any journal. Um, so that, I thought that looks nice. So I thought what we'll do to start with, we'll make a little tag. Well, it can be a tag, like I say, it can be a tag. Um, a tuck spot whatever you like but what I'm going to do with mine I'm going to just leave them as they are like this and then if I want to turn it into a tag I'll just pop a little hole in the top or a tuck spot but they're really nice just to keep in your stash um, which is quite nice so what should we put on this one should we have this on there so that looks nice doesn't it so what I'm going to do I'm going to stamp the back now this is the my stamp here which I tend to use for a lot of stuff because it's got lots of different things on it it's just one that I've got from Aliexpress a music one I've had it for a very very long time now and I'm just going to use a little bit of stays on I'm just going to um, just um, stamp the back of it just to give it a little bit of colour a little bit of background to it so just use anything, whatever stamp you've got, just give a little bit of um, stamping so it gives it a nice little background. Okay, let's stick, pop that out of the way. And then, see that, you could just pop that straight on like that and then you're done. And a little bit of stuff there and I think that looks really, really nice. But what I shall do on this one let's have a look what have i got in my pot over here so i've got lots of bits of just need something that's pretty just need something underneath it like that and that's upside down is it upside down maybe not maybe i just cut a little piece of this off and that can just stick there like that and that can just flap around so that looks really nice and that's all you need so once you've made these you can you've just put a tiny something little underneath 
um, and then you're done. So what I'm going to do again, I'm going to use some of this matte gel medium because this is what I have used on this and look it's just really really on there really tough because um, it just sticks it down so well. It's really really good. So I'm just going to pop a little bit, just use a toothpick because and then I'll wipe it off and then I can just throw this away um, because it sticks so well I don't want it to to ruin any of my sort of paint brushes or anything that I've got because I'm not the best at washing them properly so I'm going to stick some on the back of here like that and then just stick it on Leave a little bit at the top just in case I want to use it as a tag. Look at that. So messy. Okay, so that's just stuck down. Perfect. And then that's just free there. I haven't stuck it all down. So I think that looks really, really pretty and very, very quick and easy. So we can stick that one over there. Let's make another one. Shall we make another one quick? Let's have a look. What shall we put on here? We could have focus, couldn't we, there? That looks nice. And again, I'm just going to quickly stamp the back. So once you've got the toppers down, you can just make lots of these. And pop them in your stash, ready to go. That. Maybe a little bit there. Perfect. Okay, so what should we put on here? That could, could just go there. So look, you don't need a lot on them. And let's have a little bit of something down the bottom. I'll put some of this, I think. So it goes there. And I might actually do a little bit of stapling. Let's pop a little bit of this on. Let's see if this will rip. Oh, yeah. doesn't it? So what I want to do, I want to actually staple it onto here. Like this. Just a couple of little random staples like that. Look. Just wrinkle it up and staple it down. To there and that onto there. Let's have a look. What else can I put on there? Need something. I quite like this. Oh, look, it's got a lovely button on there. I've never seen that. There we go. That would look nice on there, wouldn't it? I've missed that. Mm -hmm. Cutting this up. use a little bit of this. Let's stick this down. Remember this on there. Get that out of the way. And I'm going to put some of this on here I think. Just dub it about. And we'll pop this over the top. Like that. So how cool. 
quick are those? Really, really quick. There we go. I like that one. That's really nice. I love this button. There we go. Perfect. Just clean up my mess. So they were lovely. These are really nice. Look at those. Perfect. So now I'm going to give you a quick show you quickly how I've done this. Now this is quite easy as well. Pop that over to the side. I've just got an index card here and all as I've done I've just folded it in half like this. So again if you haven't got index card you could use a piece of card, anything, a bit of packaging, you could even use a bit of cereal box or anything like that. And I'm going to just take the corners off like that. And what I've done already, I've made the little booklet. So all I've done, I've got a big piece of A4 paper, which I've got, which I don't have. No, I don't, here we go, like this. So I've just folded it in half tore it in half, folded it like that, and then just um, tore it in half, and then I've just rounded the edges, and that just fits in there nicely like that. So that fits in there perfect. You can see I've coffee stained it, because that side's a lot, lot darker than that side. So, but don't they look nice? Looks really, really nice. So what I'm going to do then, I will probably just sew that in as well. On this one, I sewed around the outside of it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to decorate the front of it first. So what shall we put on the front? Let's have, maybe I'm going to put this one on there. That looks nice, doesn't it? I like that. I love these little butterflies. I think they're so, so pretty. Okay, what should we have on the front of this one? Maybe I'll just add a few extra little bits around it. And I think I quite like it like that. Let's see. I've got... Maybe I'll put a little bit of this on. I do like this. It's very sheer and it's really really nice you can't see it too much through this but just lunk all the edges up a little bit just so it hangs down underneath there and then this can just stick on top i like it so it just sort of like hangs down there okay let's stick this down I'm thinking maybe I should have sewn in the signature first, really. Oh, I hear the seagull. He's sat out there on my balcony, looking through the window. Okay, maybe I will stick that just down here. So there again, we just use all our little bits of fabric little cut-offs see that looks really nice doesn't it quite like it how it sort of hangs off the edges as well that's why if you've got the hang oopsie daisy these bits hanging off the edges it sort of goes with the rest of it like that perfect so i should have sewn in the signature but never mind Let's just add a little bit of this. I'm going to make a mess lately. I don't need a huge amount because it's, it's only the very thin paper. Very nice, and then this will just go inside 
which I really should have sewn in first, shouldn't I? But what I'm going to do, I'll show you how I sew it in, just the same as I sew in all the other things that I've got. I've got my little box here. And I've got a big needle. Then I've got this, which is the waxed cotton. And then what I do, I just, like you would any other journal, just take three lengths of whatever you're going to be sewing. And that gives you just about the right, if you want to use it, to dangle things off as well. Again, I'm going to use my book. So I'm going to open this out. I'm going to pop this through here. Like that. What did I do with it? There we go. Make sure all these are level in there. Pop it in that little gap and I'm going to take my little tool here. So we'll do one in through the middle and then one at the top and one in the bottom. Like that. Make sure they've gone through. Perfect. Pop this out of the way and then what we're going to do, we go through the middle and then up through the top one, down through the bottom, and then we go back through the middle, like that. Okay. I'm going to take the needle out. We need this to be a little bit longer. And then when you tie it, you want to tie either side of this here in the middle bit. I'll we'll just do a couple of little knots like that. And on this one, I'm just going to snip it off like that. Because we don't really need to dangle anything from there. There we go. So we've got one little booklet there. So I think that looks really good and very quick and easy to make. So you can just pop those into little journals or again, if you wanted to um, pop that into a, to the post for somebody, it's quite nice and a little, little um, notebook for them. So I think they were really, really nice and really quick and easy. Um, so we've got all these now. So I'm going to pop these in my stash. Um, to pop into my journals at some point but I do like these because these can be turned into all sorts of things um, tags, tuck spots, journaling cards um, even if you wanted to put one on the front of your journal would look quite nice as well wouldn't it so there we go guys a few ideas for you um, so I hope you enjoyed that um, thank you so much for joining me um, um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do um, and I will see you next time. Alright guys, take care. Bye bye.